All right, this one's gonna be on Perkle. It's a uh, fuzzy finding program similar to FZF, but this one's written in Python. And you can do pretty much the same thing. You just pipe stuff into it and it'll be interactive. So let's say for example, I do a list here in my downloads folder. And if I want to pipe that into Perkle, right? And now I can use like up down arrow to select one of these things here. And by default, uh, it will actually just return the line that you select. So in this case, we're listing out files, so it returns me the uh, file that I selected, All right? So any of these other ones in here, let's say for example, this PDF, whatever, it'll just return it, uh, whatever I select. Or if you want to filter it out, let's say for example, I want to filter out like uh, just the you know JPEGs only. I can do that. Um, and then I can select any of these things. Or I can even filter even more if I do like a cap or whatever. Then I'll actually uh, filter it out and you know I can narrow down my uh, results. Uh, so that's what you can do with this. And since we're returning uh, files on here, we can actually use another shell command. And let's say we want to open it, right? So how would we do that here? So we'll use another shell command called um, xdg open and now we can actually just uh, you know pipe our our results uh, that we selected into uh, the xdg program and it should open it with our default um, was at the you know uh, GUI program so let's say for example is PDF I open with our default you know PDF viewer uh, same thing with any other thing in here. So let's say, for example, I do a text file. And let's say I do the Wii or whatever. And look at that. Opens it with our default text uh, editor. And let's do an image this time. We got here. We have the clock capacitor thing. Look at that. Opens it real quick. Uh, so that's it for how you would use it. So this one's like, you know, just for files, but you can actually use it on like. Uh, if you're trying to filter out like processes or maybe log files, uh, so on and so forth. I don't know what you're going to do with it. Um, other stuff you can do in here. So let's look at the help page for this. Uh, we'll pipe this into less and we'll open another pane here. But they do have, because by default when you're doing this, you see they have the query um, prompt up top here. If you want that to be at the bottom, you can actually do that using dash dash prompt bottom. And now our um, query part here, this one is going to be at the bottom. So I guess a little bit of customization. Other things you can do uh, by default, they have like the top down uh, results. So if you want to do like the other way around the bottom up, um, you can do that also. So we we'll do what was that here dash dash result uh, bottom up and this one will I guess reverse the order and look at that we can do that right so now I can actually just filter it out if I do like clock um, then it'll filter out real quick and they do have like Emacs hotkeys in here so you can do like uh, I mean you can use like the regular things like backspace but well, you can actually use that Emacs hotkey, like Control H or something like that, to delete. Um, let me show you the what that they have in here. They do have like a configuration file, I guess, that's in your um, Perkle.d folder here in your home folder. And you know, this is the Emacs hotkeys, and I guess some of them they do have like I'm not sure if that's um, Vim hotkeys or not, but Control N and Control P for previous and next to uh, navigate up and down and other hotkeys you can do in here if you want to um, you know uh, change it around to your liking if you don't like the hotkeys that they have by default here then you can change it anywho those are the hotkeys and that's how you use uh, Perkle uh, similar to fuzzy Find, like I said but this one's in Python so I guess uh, mainly uh, might be useful for people that are writing programs in Python. They want to keep it in the same family and just use Python, you know, instead of using like a different language. Uh, you can use this to filter out your results, I guess. That'd be it for this one. Um, 
Yeah, that's it. 